What is going on everybody? Welcome to the 11th tutorial in our Matplotlib tutorial video series here. Well, what we're going to be talking about in this video is handling for Unix time. So there are all kinds of ways that you might get date stamps and all that. We could spend a lot of time on the conversion there. Um, but it's because there's so many, I can't just show like every version of a date stamp. But I do think it's important to at least show also how to convert from a Unix timestamp to the Matplotlib kind of format. So uh, coming over to our Yahoo Finance API, like I was saying before, if you use a term like in these large numbers, you know, you're going to get these like kind of date stamp. But if like, let's say we do 10 D for 10 days, uh, you'll see that things have changed significantly. And now no longer do we have this, you know, year, month, day situation. We've got these numbers like this is like 1.4 billion. What's that? Well, these are Unix timestamps. So again, Unix time is just the number of seconds after January 1st, 1970. So now we have to convert that to a date time that is acceptable for matplotlib. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to just use another little simple function. It'll actually be a little easier than the previous one we wrote because there's some handling for it already. Unix timestamps, like I was saying before, are really popular. So it's really popular with computers, so people have handled Unix timestamps for a long time. So coming over here uh, to our, gra or our uh, file, what we want to do now is uh, at the top, let's go ahead and import uh, date time as DT. Generally, you import date time as DT, and then sometimes people will import date time dot date time as date time okay so again this is just a standard that people do if they import the main module it's dot dt so now what we're going to do is let's um thinking that well i still have this up so let's pull up um a command prompt here and open python you can do this wherever you want or you can just watch you don't have to follow along if you don't want to but feel free to if you want so uh first let's import uh, date time as DT. We're also going to need to import uh, time. Now let's say, first of all, if you're not familiar, you can print, you know, time dot time, and that gives you a Unix time. Okay, so this is the current Unix time. So let's say um, our example time equals time dot time. So we can print example now, and there you go. You've got your time. Now what we want to do is let's go, well, let's print dt.datetime.fromTimestamp example, okay? So we print that out and what we get is a, it's a legible timestamp, okay? So 2015, the uh, month is July, day 8, or 8th, so July 8th, 2015. And then this is in, you know, military time, so 2, 22, 23, and then, you know, milliseconds, basically. Okay, so then we want to convert that date. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to convert it to NumPy time. So date conversion, we would say, is equal to NP dot uh, vector. Oh, we don't have NumPy imported, so let's import NumPy. And we would say date conv equals NP dot vectorize DT dot date time dot from timestamp. I thought we imported, oh, we just imported NumPy, we didn't say as NP, so I'll just call, I'll just do NumPy, dateconv. So then we could use dateconv, and we can convert a date stamp like this, you know, to, to a date time. So we're going to take this code, um, and we're going to come over here, and we need to bring in, let's see, we, we don't, well, we don't need time, because we, that was just for an example. Uh, so date time DT, this should be all we need actually. So we'll come down uh, here where we've pulled the date here. And instead of converting, we're actually not going to convert anything. So, um, well, we could, well, we could add a converter if we wanted, but yeah, we're not going to do that. So <laughs> we'll just do this. Um, and we'll just convert this as a list after the fact. So we'll come down here and then what we would say is and in fact let me just uh let's take this line just because i want to save it for later copy it paste and then highlight the whole line and then alt three to comment it out because we're going to go back to using this data but i do just like i said i want to show you guys how to convert unix time just in case you need it so then delete all the way up so we'll use this one for now but soon we'll return back to our old uh, format 
So here, what we need to do now is we need to convert the date, uh, the date time. So we use date conv for date converter, and that's going to be equal to. Do we have NumPy? Yes. So date conv equals np dot uh, vectorize, and we vectorize based on a dt dot date time dot time stamp, or actually from time stamp. So from time stamp, from time stamp. Okay. So now we're gonna say uh, date equals date conv uh, on the date. Cool. So that should do it. So now instead of using this 10 year range, let's do a 10 instead of Y, 10 D, which we know gives us Unix time instead. And we will run that. I think we're all set. Let's run it and see what happens. <laughs> now that worked out cool okay so what we have here are the days and, and, and it, it probably looks kind of funny to you because they're connected but these are basically you know this is where the stock market was open I mean this is intraday data here so we can zoom in this is like one day of data okay so stock market open stock market close and then they're just basically connect this is a close of the market open trade close trade close trade close trade close okay so that's what's going on here. Uh, but anyway, long story short, it worked. So that's how you can convert Unix timestamps to matplotlib dates. That's all I'm going to say on them. I'm going to return back to the original 10 years information uh, in the next tutorial. And we're going to get rid of this information here. But for those of you who want to do intraday data, go for it. Uh, pretty soon we're going to get off of... Um, so a lot of people will be like, all right, I want to get rid of these nasty lines. Well, pretty soon we're going to be doing candlestick graphs, so there won't be this nasty line connecting them, so keep that in mind. Uh, but anyway, I did just want to show how you could convert from Unix time to dates time because it's pretty important to know how to do it anyways. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments uh, regarding this tutorial, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until the next video.